News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Well, Valley Border Patrol agents are keeping an eye on a new smuggling tactic. Criminals are using city drainage systems to get people and drugs across the border. Now, we've seen this happen here in the Valley twice in the past two weeks, one time in Brownsville and another time in Hidalgo. BP agents say if you see anything out of the ordinary in your neighborhood, you can let them know by calling 800-863-9382. An appeals court has reinstated Texas's new abortion law just days after a judge halted it. Health care providers once again forced to turn away patients. Last Wednesday after the law was halted, some providers say they did open their doors for abortion services, but now they could be in legal jeopardy for doing so. The Department of Justice now has until tomorrow to make their next legal move. And the FDA is still looking into getting Pfizer's vaccine authorized for kids under 12, but on October 14th, the agency will also be taking a look at Moderna's application on booster shots for people 18 and older and the next day an FDA panel will be discussing whether or not those who got the J&J one shot vaccine need a booster at this point. The panel will also be looking into whether it's safe to mix vaccines and turning to weather winds won't be as gusty today, but it'll be another hot and humid day. Temperatures will be in the 90s most of this afternoon. That's your News in 60. Have a great Monday. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.